Time for our sleeper of the week. Jeff Stotts of rotowire.com gives us one guy that you can probably hang your hat, you can hang your hat on and probably win your week if you take his advice. Okay, this week's sleeper, who you got? I got Marshawn Lynch of the Seahawks. You know, he, he's a pretty big name, so it's hard to really count him as a sleeper. But, you know, all the expert rankings have had him in the lower 25, the lower, lower 30 these last couple weeks. But bottom line is he scored a touchdown in five straight games. He's got back-to-back 100-yard outings against the Cowboys and, and against Baltimore this past week. And, and he's starting to look like the work, work, workhorse Seattle thought he was going to be. He's going against St. Louis this week that, that has the worst rush defense in, in the league. And I really think Lynch is a guy that, you know, he's, he's starting to grab hold of that role. He, he's finally becoming that guy that we remember him from a couple years ago, his first couple years in Buffalo. And, and you have to get him. He's owned in a lot of leagues, but he isn't being utilized. So he might be a guy that I target in a trade because, you know, he, didn't, he struggled to start the season, but he's put together a pretty impressive stretch here. And I really think you see the Seattle Seahawks continue to go straight to him. Well, and interesting, over the next four weeks, they play at St. Louis, home against Washington, home against Philadelphia. Those are two home games. And the Seahawks are a different team at home. And then at home against St. Louis. So they have three games at home after this. Again, if you have Marshawn Lynch, you haven't been playing him, I love your thought about him being a good matchup this week and over the next month heading into your playoffs. Well, again, he's got St. Louis again on the schedule. So, again, that's another another chance to, to beat up that porous defense. And then those, those other two, they're at home, and he just, you know, he carried the ball 32 times against a pretty tough Baltimore defense. He had one play where he just made Ray Lewis look silly that, that iced the game, put him on roller skates, he gave him a little shimmy. It was an extremely impressive run. He actually had, I think, I believe five catches, so he's, you know, becoming a threat out of the backfield as well. And, and I really, you know, I, I'm kicking myself. I dropped him in a couple of my leagues early on after he struggled, and I'm really wishing I had him because I've got McFadden banged up, and he would be the perfect, perfect compliment right now to, to my fantasy teams. 